Legend has it that whoever wears the biggest hat holds the most power. Ronnie, some of this step aside. What's going on everyone? Hope you guys are doing good. So there's seven paintings that are scattered across the lands and they give you some pretty cool rewards. This pyramid head lookalike is one of them. It requires you to first find the painting and then go to the location where they painted it at. The first painting we're grabbing is located in Limgrave. You want to head on over to the artist shack. Then once you get the painting, you want to make your way down over to the seaside runs. Then make a little trek northwest and that's where you'll find the gold incantation scarab. It reduces FP cost of incantations, but makes you take more damage. So far I've found three of these. I think there's a few more, but they all have the same stats it appears, except it's got a little bit of a different buff to them. They all seem to make you take more damage though. Next, we're heading on over to Stormville Castle, and you want to take the lift side chamber waypoint. Head outside, and where the omen creature is at with the dog is where there'll be a little room to the west, and that is where the painting will be. Next, to find where the artist painted this one, we're heading on over to the Church of the Pilgrimage. I thought it was this ghost that was sitting outside the church, but he's actually a little bit behind the church. And that rewards you with the Warhawk Ashes. Next, make your way over to the other artist shack in Liurnia. Once you grab the Resurrection painting, teleport to the behind Caria Manor waypoint. And this one's a little bit harder to find. He's kind of like towards the edge of the cliff there, and you just want to head south. There are quite a few enemies in here. I'm sure you could just run in there and grab it still though. Here you get the Juvenile Scholar outfit, which is the same outfit that the Queen's little minions are wearing. You also get a larval tier here, which you can use to rebirth yourself. Yet their rebirth is not without imperfections, you say. Now we're heading on over to the Cilia under stairway point. You want to run up the stairs and then take a right and then a sharp left and hidden within the rubble there is where you'll find the painting. Once you get that painting, head on over to the Dragon Barrow Fork waypoint. Check out this Earth Tree avatar here, but he's pretty tough. I just ended up cheesing him from the distance with the legendary lightning spear. And if you kill him, he'll reward you with the Opaline Hard Tier, which will boost elemental damage negation. Or you could just run right behind him, as that's where the next location will be. It's by this giant pot here on this V shaped corner here. And I'm using the Cat Talisman, which prevents all fall damage from a certain height, anyways. I'm going to show you how to get down two ways. One is the original intended way, and then the next is using the jump boost with torrent.
next you can use Torrent on the very edge of the jump boost here. And then you want to do a double jump on the very last second once you're near the edge, and it'll take you all the way down to the bottom. You don't have to fight or kill this giant golem here, as he's pretty tough. He is hiding a run arc beneath him though, if you want to get him up just to grab that. He'll only reward you with like 5700 runs and nothing else besides that. But there is a way to cheese him, which I'll show you after this. It's pretty crazy that he only rewards you with 5700 runs, considering how much health he has and the amount of damage he does. I just spammed him with the Falling Star Beast Jaw special ability, which is one of my favorite abilities for any weapon. It's just such a great ability, so spammable, so fast, and you can hit targets that you don't have line of sight for. Next, we're going over to the Shaded Castle Inner Gate Waypoint. I don't know if this waypoint is the fastest route to get to this painting, but it's the route I took. make your way up this tower here up this large ladder. I ended up running back and forth so I just cut that area out real fast. Watch out for these perfumers mist as they do do a lot of damage with it. Once you have that painting, head on over to the rampart side path, head on up the mountain there, and you'll end up facing a dragon there, which I thought was bugged because I thought he was supposed to respawn a little bit further down the mountain. Watch out for the goats, they try to be annoying and attack you while you're fighting a dragon. <laughs> Just kind of insult to injury when you're getting blasted by lightning from a dragon and this freaking goat is like headbutting you at the same time. <laughs> dragon swoops down with all of these intimidating, powerful, lightning, earth shattering strikes and then just dies to bubbles. <laughs> bubbles are no joke, it will kill. Then head on over to the ledge there and that's where you'll find the heart bow. It's got a pretty cool sound effect as well as some nice rapid fire action. Now we're heading on over to the Royal Capital and you want to go to the West Capital Rampart Waypoint. I don't know if I have the quickest route for this one either, as I don't have access to this area anymore. I know I did a lot of running around. The Royal Capital is definitely like a maze, and it's easy to get lost in there. I took a clip of where I think it should be at, where I stopped, and then I basically did like a circle and came around the other side, so I just cut that part out.
This should be the right location if you drop down right here and follow where the arrow is pointing. Inside you'll find a pretty nice outfit. One of the nicer ones for mages, I think. As well as the painting, which is right next to the Sight of Grace. Then we're heading on over to the Windmill Heights Waypoint. Head in the direction of southeast, and that's where you'll find the Fire Deadly Sin spell. It's a pretty interesting spell. It does some damage initially, and then sets yourself on fire, and does damage to you and anything that's close to you as well. Last one, head on over to Castle Soul, which is located in the mountaintops of the Giants. This one is pretty easy to get if you've already cleared out the lions. If not, there'll be two lions out there that you can cheese pretty easily with some spells. Then just watch out for the giant bird that's camping up top. Painting's just right around the corner here. Once you get that, head on over to the Snow Valley Runs Overlook Waypoint. And the last but not least artist location is located on the bridge there, but he's kind of off to the side a little bit, and he's easy to miss unless you go up right next to him. And that's the one that rewards you with the best looking hood in the game, I think. <laughs> the Pyramid Head. I always thought from the very beginning of the game when I saw the Astrologer's Hood that it was too big for their head. And that was the main reason I didn't pick them. <laughs> Even though I wanted to play a magic character. Because they just look more ridiculous in that oversized hood than the prisoner in his helmet. But then I saw Ronnie's hat. And then I saw Sullivan's hat. <laughs> and gentlemen, I present to you the largest, most ridiculous hat of all, <laughs> the Grey Hood, which is actually pretty good. It increases your faith and intelligence by two, and I actually do like this one out of all of the big hats, as it looks almost identical to Pyramid Head from Silent Hill. I'm sure that was their inspiration for it. Looks pretty good with the ruler's robe as well, as it almost matches the color perfectly. It also looks good with the sanguine noble waistcloth leggings. If you're going for the pyramid head look, that's a pretty good match. If you liked the video when it helps you out, hit that subscribe so you can stay notified. Take it easy, and hope to see you guys on the next one.